Hello everyone, and what I want to teach you today is a neat technique using uh, a blur tool or a blur filter to create uh, images where you can make a single person stand out from the crowd. So the first thing to do is find a picture that works for this. So I already have one here that I can use. I have my uh, picture here, and you can see there's kind of a large crowd. All right, But anytime you have a large crowd, there's sometimes people you don't exactly want to see. So let's say, for example, this person right here is our uh, subject, and that's the person we want to stand out. But then you get like annoying smiling man here in the background or weird guy over there. And we want to take this picture and just have just our subject stand out. All right? Now I want to use Pixlr. So all I have to do is copy the URL up here. All right? I can do a like control C or command C if you're on a Mac. And come over to Pixlr. I'm going to say open image from URL. Paste my link in there using control V or command V. I'll hit OK and my picture is going to open up. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this layer and I'm going to duplicate it. So I'll right click and say duplicate. And so now I have two layers. This is going to be the layer that I really don't do anything to, but where my subject is going to stand out from. This is the layer, my copy, that I'm going to do something to to help my subject stand out. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to add what's called a Gaussian blur. So if I click this layer, I can go to filter, I can say Gaussian blur, and this comes up. And what you notice what Gaussian blur kind of does is it actually softens everything a little bit. And actually compared to the original photo, it actually looks a little better with the Gaussian blur. But if I increase it, you can kind of see what happens to the photo. Now I want it really blurred, so I'm going to crank it up all the way. You could try to play with it to try to create different blur effects to see what looks best. But I'll kind of, I'll crank it up here pretty high. I'm going to hit OK. So now we see I have a blurred layer. And if I hide that one, you'll see a non-blurred layer. So let's be on our blurred one. I'm going to click it. And I'm going to zoom in on our subject here a little bit. So it's going to be that lady there that we want to kind of unblur from. So I'm going to click my eraser. Um, and you may have to pick a different brush size. Actually, I think this one's probably pretty good. And what I can do, uh, we'll make it a little bigger. I can start erasing, and we'll see that she becomes unblurred. So I can go through here, and I'm kind of doing this a little fast, but that's just because it's an example. You'd want to be careful to make sure you really only get her. And I'll grab her arms here, and I'll blur those a little bit. You can see I kind of got a little sloppy right there. So that's why it's always a good thing if you're kind of using the eraser tool for this technique. You'd want to make sure you kind of let go quite often as you're erasing. So that if you goof up, you can go back to your history and quickly undo it. Now he's got a guy, guy's got his little thumb there. Let's kind of get some of this quick. Now if I zoom out you'll kind of notice that she starts really sticking out there pretty well. So even though it's a large crowd and it was kind of hard to make out one person, using this technique you can make uh, your subject either a person or it could be a plant, or it could be a sign somewhere you can make stick out really well. Now I would go and obviously take further time to go through and erase all the parts of her and make sure that I don't have anything else bleed through. Um, but this is just a little tutorial and that's how it works. All right, hopefully that's uh, kind of cool. Something. A technique you can use and uh, have a great day.